Welcome to Fairtime Studios. This is my Music Man Stingray. It's actually one of the sub ones, the USA sub ones from like 2002. So it's quite old now. They just sound brilliant. I do have a, a Sterling Ray 34 with the two band EQ. Two band EQ sounds best to me and I just prefer the sound of this. My friends had one for about 15 years. Great sounding bass guitar. What I will say is they come with a neck that is, I mean, it's not lacquered now, but it's originally lacquered and the black paint is quite sticky and you do see on eBay and Reverb, a lot of people sand them off. So I'm gonna show you how I did that. Also added a gut cut or a tummy carve just for comfort. I prefer it with this on a, every instrument if I'm being honest, it's just my personal preference. We're gonna start with the tummy cut. What I did is use a, a Fender Stratocaster as a bit of a template. I just laid it next to it and got roughly the same shape. So it goes about two or three inches down from the lowest part of the curve and you can kind of do what you want, to be honest. Every instrument's a slightly different shape, and I use a thin sort of five, six mil tape to mark out the shape I want, just to make sure it looks right before I hack away at it. I'll put a link to the tape I use in the description because it makes your life easier using thin tape. I also do the same with that thin tape on the top edge. So I start obviously at nothing and then go to about halfway through the thickness of the body. And then I personally use a Shinto rasp just to hack away the majority of it. And there's generally two sides to a Shinto rasp. One's really rough and one's a bit finer. Use the really rough one to start with, get, I'd say 90% of the way there, then the finer one to take it the rest of the way there. Took about 15, 20 minutes. And then you can use finer rasps and files just to finish it and then sandpaper. Do it to about 400 grit. And then I sprayed it, so taped it up again, just so the spray didn't go everywhere. Put everything in a bag and take plastic over it to protect the body and a line of tape where you don't want to go. I used a gloss spray on the body and a satin spray on the neck. I've done the neck on um, my friend's Music Man sub and I use nitrocellulose. Nitrocellulose can be a bit painful if you're not used to it, so I'd probably recommend just satin spray. I will put links to these in the description uh, of what I used just because it makes life easier. And if you're wondering why there's this weird pin stripe here like taped off binding, I think that's where they use uh, the sealer on the body. So it's sort of almost a bit of the old lacquer soaked into the top layer of the wood. I don't know, but it kind of looks cool. I dyed it red with Crimson Guitars, stunning stains, just I thought it'd look cool, and went from there. With the neck, sanded that off, tried to be as careful as possible. It's kind of hard to get a good finish around where you want it to end, so the neck joint. And I don't want a straight line, I kind of want it fading up these bits. I, was like, I just think that looks better. Again, I sanded it to about 400 grit, Crimson Guitars, red stunning stains. It's just easy to get in England, I don't know. Stu Mac in America is probably a good alternative. I just thought it would look a bit more interesting than a plain neck. Also, again, I did this to my friend's neck and he suggested red. I was going to use black, went to do it, found out I didn't have any black stain. He was like, go red. And his red neck looks fantastic. So, whacked a load of that on. There's another video where I spray his neck with nitrocellulose. I just used a satin spray. And it looks like this, it feels really nice. It feels so much nicer than the original. And with the tummy carve added, the gut cut, it's a really nice bass guitar. Again, the neck took longer than the tummy cut. By the time you've got to spray it, let it dry and all the rest of it, not even have to spray this and let it dry. It just feels like more effort with the neck because you've got to tape up all the edge of the fretboard, really, unless you've sanded that. You just got to be a bit more careful with the neck, to be honest. Didn't take too long. A Couple of days later, let it all dry for 48 hours, reassemble it. Boom, you've got a guitar that looks like this. And it feels amazing. Really is one of the nicest basses I've ever played. And sounds fantastic too, which is always a benefit. Thank you for watching, hopefully that was helpful. Mm -hmm.